All right, so we're uh, programming the bike. First things first, make sure your bike's off, obviously. All right, so number one thing, if you've just got a Kelly running, is you have to do the motor identification. And to do that, you need to have the chain off your motor, so no load on, on the motor, otherwise. Um, so I gotta pop mine off here. A little trickier since I don't have the chain tensioner. But there we go. All right, so there we got her off. Oh, chain's off. We'll get it off of this mainly is what we need it off of. This guy's off of here. So I have the Kelly Bluetooth and I have it in my bundle of wires plug in right here. So we'll go ahead and plug that in. Alright, so as we should go through our Kelly manual. All right, so looking into the Kelly manual, this is your best friend here, but I got y'all. The identification angle operation function. Uh, and you'll see this, you know, you read through this section and you'll see the setting of the identification angle item is at 85 or not. So either way, you're gonna wanna go ahead and program this. So <clears throat> you want to fill that number in with 170. So I just wanted to double check. It's been a minute just because I'm doing this for you guys. So right to download this app, we're going to click either PC or Android. There's no different option. So we're going to get that. Now the thing is to ex you want to extract these files. So you're going to need to get a file manager and you're going to have to get in and you're going to have to um, ex extract that, which I already have, but it will be in a zipped file kind of deal. So now that we have that extracted, we have our Kelly app. And that Kelly app is going to open up. It's going to say whatever we hit yes. We're trying to do Bluetooth connection. Therefore, we have our Bluetooth adapter. We're now going to power our bike on. We see that this is blinking, so we know we have power to the Kelly, Kelly's running, we hit Bluetooth, yes, and now we're going to hit connect. Now all these come up. Now <clears throat> I am already connected. First you're going to want to go into your Bluetooth settings and uh, connect. The password is 1234. So connect to that. We're connected, it says connected down there. We hit REA and we are into our settings. So motor identification EN85. So as we know, we just looked at that page. It says 170. So we're gonna delete that and put 170. All right, so that's all we've changed. If you guys just put this controller on and it's new, you're gonna to need to set your volts. I'm running at 75, so my low volt is 65, my high is 90. <clears throat> so if it's a 48 volt, put your low as 40 and your high as 60, right? So leave everything else. We're gonna tune this motor. Basically, we want the Kelly to recognize the motor and what's happening. So everybody's gonna keep their eye on this. We're going to go down here. I'm going to hit write. So data write complete. That means everything's written. Now that for that to actually write on the Kelly, we need to power off. <clears throat> and we're going to power off. No blinking. All right. When I power this on, this motor is going to move and we're not touching anything. Do not touch anything once you turn it on. So power on. Move. We're going to watch it.
and right now it's programming where the motor identification is to the Kelly so it knows So we are not touching anything until this Kelly throws a code and beeps. And that beep will basically mean that the identification angle is done and our setting should be set back to that 85 that it should be set at. There it is. Try to get it so you can hear. So we're going to power off, we're going to give it a few seconds, we're going to power on. Now first of all, no, I know I have power, see my motor is running. <clears throat> now let's get into the settings, here's my battery app you know we're connected to my batteries it shows my AH remaining it's a 40H battery it's basically full so we're up there and then um, it can show each individual cell your outputs it has some temperatures and whatnot so hopefully you guys can see so there's that and then let's get into the Kelly Oops. Yes, Bluetooth, again we have to hit connect, we connect, we're connected, and basically the main settings that you want to mess with is, <clears throat> now if you wired it how I wired it, you shouldn't have to mess with the reverse, like we talked about earlier, the low volt an overvolt you need to set otherwise you'll be getting an overvolt code now if you scroll all the way over into AC up here that's giving you live data and if you do have any codes it will show your error status codes up here and you can kind of track that down so you know um, you can see my motor speed happening live there's that 9000 uh, we got a motor hall sensor because it knows it's topped out. No load. <clears throat> now I did it twice and it's going to throw a code. So, let's see if it gives us. Just basically knows there's no load on there and, and something's wrong. So, anyway, we're back into these settings. <clears throat> it's always in mid speed. So, you're going to want to set mid speed forward to 100. I basically set them all to 100. Max speed is your RPMs. I set it to 10,000 because I'm not worried about it. If you're at a 48 volt, it will only run about 6,000 max, 48 volts if you're really pushing it, I believe. Um, don't be pushing any other random settings. A lot of these can mess up. This dead break low and dead break high are pretty much max perimeters. And I like to set those. It's a little bit of your throttles same with my TPS dead high and my TPS dead low um, I would actually set this at 19 the 18's pretty low um, and TPS high at 99 TPS forward map 100 so I put all those um, I'll screenshot this in so you can copy now those numbers you can copy um, let's go over the main important ones here current percent is your overall percentage of power to the battery battery current limit now battery current limit is basically the amps you're getting now that depends on what controller you ordered I have a 200 amp controller therefore that number is out of a hundred so if I'm at 52 amps 
that basically puts me at 104 or 104 amps if I'm at 52%. I'm sorry. So 52% of that is higher. Now on these bikes, I have the Kelly 130 amp. So that number varies a little different. Um, you know, it's a little bit over. If you have it set at 40 amps, you're maybe running 45 to 50 amps on your peak. So that is your amps. That number depends on your battery. A lot of these batteries, you're not able to pull more than 100 amps from for your peak. So make sure you're not exceeding your battery's amp pull. And that's not AH, it's your amps. <clears throat> so, you know, make sure it's your amps that you're pulling. Now, Now your battery current is overall. So even if I have the amp set that high, if I were to turn this down to let's say 10% and write it, we're only gonna get 10%. It's not gonna give me that many amps. So let's turn it off. We're gonna kill the app. We're gonna turn it on. And I only have 10%. So that with full throttle you can see it takes off much slower and again the code because we have no chain so we kill that we'll go back in we'll connect connecting connected We'll take that percent back to 98 and I'll write it. Now I'm still in. So then you can hit over and you have these settings. Now this setting is a little bit different onto these torque speeds if you have my controller these are my secrets so again if you read in the Kelly perimeters for these specific settings torque speed KP and KI and limit <clears throat> there's perimeters basically so there's a perimeter to each one of these now I messed with these numbers in the perimeters but not in the sequence that it asked to do and that's how my bike has the tune that it has so these numbers can vary I need to look again on perimeters I can screenshot it and put it in on the part on the page but this is basically what you need to change low end torque high end torque and then that overall I'm not really sure it's kind of hard to determine what they're doing but that's how I'm doing it this settings I wouldn't really mess with um, unless you have any issues but contact me first or Kelly and that's pretty much it so we already wrote the other one I'm gonna disconnect kill the app I'll write that power back Pop that back on. And you can see how much snappier that is. So, that kind of explains the Kelly. Um, I need to get into Giannis's bike here and actually change some settings and go through. So, I'll actually do that with you guys and put up a different video if you're curious to see the difference happening. But <clears throat> that's what these bikes are running is those Kellys. That's how I'm able to push these 1800 watt motors to close to 10,000 watts. And like I say, I've been doing it for a long time. So kind of crazy, but you know, it's working for me. It's an $80 motor. Um, now you can only get the set, but I'm trying to get that squared away with them. So. Let me know what you guys think if you have any questions.